All right, so when you've got a SharePoint site, we've got our, this one here is just a, an internal test one I have, so it hasn't been set up or played with very much. But sometimes what happens is we've got our standard menu bar and we might want to create something that looks a little bit more like a tiered or stepped um, website menu bar. So we want to have some sub options that sit out here. So here's how we can do that. So we can edit. Now what you need to have is the pieces that you want to put together. So we're going to edit, oops, sorry. We're going to edit that bar. So let's turn these off. All the things that beep. Okay, so we're going to edit this one here. And what happens is we can add pieces in here and we can make sublinks and move them up and down. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add here. I'm going, and it can be any of these things. So it could be a planner. It could be your Teams link. It could be an external link. So I'm going to pop here and I'm going to pop www.thriveadmin.com forward slash micro magic tips. The display name. So this is what would come up on here. So we're going to call it micro magic tips. Um, and I'm going to have it open in a new tab because it's an external site. So we go, okay. So this is here now, but what I can do is I can drag it here and there so I can change the order. So I might make it under, let's make it sit under documents here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a sublink and that pushes it in. So this is the way it looks here now. So what I've got now when I hit save is that we open it and I've got this drop down menu. If you were to change this menu so that it sits across the top, that would again be the, the drop down that would show underneath. So you end up with that drop down field and any of these I could also make, um, so I could actually make this one a sublink as well. And I can choose where that one goes as well. So that could go up here and I can make it a sublink there and it will automatically sit underneath here. So you can see we've now got conversations and documents. So this is a really handy way if you've got pages or other links that you want to use in your SharePoint site, but you want to have them sit under a main heading. So it will go to my, well, that one's not a great example. Uh, so this one will still work and go to documents. So this is still a working link, but then these underneath are also working links or tips. So a good example for this might be in the document section, you might have all documents, and then you might have some sub libraries or some other folders. You might have several different libraries. So you might wanna have a heading that is libraries that might go to where all of your libraries are. Um, you might have multiple libraries. So you might have all of your documents and then you would have all of the separate libraries by department or, de or section. So that is one of the handy tips you can use to customize and add information and content. It can be pages in the site. It can be external content, it can be planner boards. Anything you share though, you need to make sure that they'll be able to access the file if they click on it. And if they don't, that you have a process for them asking for the access.